Sandy.com. I'm Minister Love, joined with my partner, Sister Sandy, again, and we're just like we promised, we're going to bring you lesson number 31 today. And the question again is, why should I study my Bible? So if you've been through with us with all the lessons from 1 to 30, you don't want to miss 31 today. Sister Sandy, share with them, what are we going to be learning? Why should we study our Bible today? What's the reason? Okay, because I'm a new creation. A new Ooh. creation. Oh, I like how you emphasize that. You say a new creation. Cindy, why did you get excited about that? What does new creation mean? Well, you're born, right? You're born from your mom. And it's a, you're physically born. But when you become a new creation, now you have spiritual. You have the Holy Spirit inside. You have a different outlook, a different atmosphere, a different presence. And mm. now you're new. Daily, you're new. You get up and you say, thank you, Lord, that you woke me up. Thank you, Lord, that you gave me a great day. Thank you, Lord. I give you all the praise and glory, Father God. And and you're happy. You wake up happy. It was, uh, I never wake up mad anymore. I never right. wake up stressed anymore. I wake up happy and content. That's just, I don't know, it's unexplainable. <laughs> I know. You know, you tied into what we learned last week. Remember last week on lesson number 30, we talked about we found out that we're the what children of God. Yes. So that would explain this new feeling that you just talked about, this new, this new creation. I'm a child of God. And, it, and notice the key word, new. It's a new creation. So we got a whole new uh, dreams, new visions, new desires, new hopes new outlook, new new uh, 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 visions and things, new projects, everything we pick up to do. If it's a camera, if it's a pen, if it's a pencil, if it's a binder, if it's a book, all of that is all making us what? New. When you read a, a new book, you, a, you are a what? New creation. You have learned something you never learned before. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right then. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. That's a good reason as to why I study my Bible, and Sister Sandy does too, and we hope that you do as well, is that I'm a new creation. Well, let's see about that. Let's see if we have a scripture for this. Sandy, take us to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Okay. And Sandy, can you read that for us and then share with us what is the Spirit speaking to you there? Okay. It states, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Exactly what I was just talking about. It mm -hmm. just tells you exactly in the Bible, the same thing. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the old, and now you're in Christ. And now new things will be passing through you. And yes. that's so nice. Wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And remember last week we learned that we were joint heirs with Christ. Right. And so now, Paul is saying, now that we got that, uh, we're in that lineage, we're in the family of God, he said, you're a new creature. Right. He said, all the old things pass away. In other words, the, when you focus more on the natural, that passed away. You've been born again. You're a new creature now. You're spiritual. You're no longer thinking more on the natural realm. You've been born again. He says, behold. Look what he says. Behold, all things are become new. Wow. I tell you, isn't that just how it is, Sandy, when we study the word of God? Every year when we study uh, different lessons, we are new creatures at the end. Everything old now has become new. Because what I thought I knew, I didn't. I got a brand new perspective on the word of God. Are you seeing this? New attitude. <laughs> yes, yes. But let me just add one thing. I love this scripture too. The reason we went here, I love this because we know Paul wrote this. And remember, we're talking about I'm a new creature. Now, if anybody could give you an example of being a new creature, it would be Paul. Remember how Paul was part of the religious leaders, the Pharisees? They were the ones that tried to kill Jesus. Yeah. They were the ones that didn't want to speak the truth. They want to teach the people the lies. Oh, but what happened one day with Paul? 
He was on his horse. He was on his way to go kill him some Jews, wasn't he? <laughs> and all of a sudden, he met Jesus. Right. Jesus threw his tail off that horse. Right. All of a sudden, Paul got blind. Paul couldn't see. Next thing you know, Paul came out of that, and Paul was a what? New creature. He started preaching about Jesus. He went from city to city, and Paul was a new creature. Yes. Because he wasn't being taught that old wrong teaching in the church. Right, right. He now was being taught by Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Because remember, he told us in Romans, the spirit bears witness. Right. Remember last week, the spirit bears witness that we're the child of God. Right. right. There. Who said that? Paul. Oh. Are you seeing this, Sandy? Good. Yeah. So everything Paul did. Everything had to be new for Paul. Paul had Paul was so awesome. He wrote majority of the New Testament. Right. Talk right. about having a brand new life. Wow. What ex extreme, extreme from killing. Yes. Now writing everything yes. and trying to get everybody saved and getting the Sadducees and all those church people to change. But yeah, amazing. Quite amazing. Yeah. Yeah, he gave us the truth. Paul said, I'm going to give you the truth because they didn't give it to me. Right. The Sadducees, the Pharisees, they wasn't giving the people the truth. They were giving them the lie, the lie. covering up the truth because they wanted their teaching to make all the money. Right. That's why the people were going. They wanted yeah, to be it was God. for them. They wanted to be gods. They, wanted, they didn't want to give mm -hmm. the glory to God. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Paul had a great task, a great task. He sure did it, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there we have it right there. Talk about being a new creature. Let's take a look at one more scripture. Let's go to first, I mean, Colossians. Colossians chapter one. Okay. Colossians chapter one. Okay. And I'm going to read verse 15. All right. Okay. You know what, Sandy? I'm going to read 13 through 15. Okay. Okay? Sure. Okay. And we're going to stop right there. I think we had another scripture on the on the lesson plan, but we're going to do these and we're in right there, everyone. This, this, this is so good. This is uh, Colossians chapter 1, and we're going to read 13 through 15. Here we go. Here we go. Who has delivered us let, let me start. Let's go to 12. Let's go to 12. Okay. Giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Verse 13. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of who? His dear son. Verse 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. Uh-oh, here we go. Here it is. Verse 15, what does it say? Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? Wow. Paul is talking about Jesus. He's the one that's the invisible. He's the one that's made in the image of his God. In, in, of, in, of, of God. And did you notice that how it called Jesus the firstborn of every creature? So if I'm a new creature, somebody came before me to be who I am. Right. And it was Jesus. Jesus. He was the first. Are you seeing this, Sandy? That's good. That's really, I like that. Ain't that something? Yeah, it's different. So he was the firstborn. Wow. And when he came. Followed. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And he delivered us from the darkness, didn't he? Correct. He, yeah. del he delivered us from the lies of the, of, of the Pharisees and the Sadducees, so to speak, didn't he? Right. That's why we became new creatures. See, this is why we must study our Bible. We must read our Bible. We must listen to the Holy Spirit as he teaches us. Jesus teaches us. God teaches us. Because they're going to tell us the what? Truth. That's right. Otherwise, you're going to be so confused. Because they leave out mm -hmm. pieces of it. They put in what they want. 
they mm -hmm. turn it and maneuver it the way they want. But if you're reading it straight from the Bible, mm -hmm. then, then you get it. And then you try to uh, analyze it and see what it means and mm -hmm. you gotta pull it apart. And then mm -hmm. as you keep studying, it just slaps you in the face and you get it. But mm -hmm. it, yeah, so it's, it's just a, a, a great tool and you keep studying it and you keep studying it until it becomes very uh, easy to understand. Just like Minister Lowe has been mm -hmm. doing it for over 20 something years. I'm just seven. But, but mm. when I started to now, it's so much oh. better for me, you know, and mm -hmm. she's a really great teacher. So she helps us to understand it when, mm -hmm. she, when she explains it. We may get it one way and then she has found on it. And that's the key to watching our, our uh, lessons because mm -hmm. you have a great teacher, you have a student that's been around seven years and we, you know, learn from each other and then that's you true. can get the straight word that's in the Bible. And it's a great lesson for you to be able to be on the My Bible Talk show on the websites, checking out these lessons. And uh, it's just, it's a great tool and it's free. So, oh my God, you don't even have to leave your house. <laughs> That's right. Hey, hey and, and audience, y'all can zoom in with us. All you yeah, have to do is contact us. If you want to zoom in with us, email us. Uh, yeah. We do lessons. It'd be great. Okay. Exactly. Go to our website. Oh, my. We, hey, that was it right there. We're going to have to conclude right there. I'm right. Minister Love at MyBibleRegistration.com. And so just like Sister Sandy said, if you want to zoom in with us, go to the website and get our uh, contact information. Contact us via email and we will uh, pencil you in on the calendar. No, no, we're going to zoom you in zoom on you the in. calendar. All right. Share with them our other website that they can go to and what lessons they're going to be getting this year in 2021. Okay. Source Outreach Ministries.com. And we're doing a Jesus Calling book. I'll have to get the book and show it. But uh, we're going to be doing lessons out of that. For, what, 38 lessons or so. Um, lessons. 42. And so, 42. 42. So all you yeah. have to do is buy the book and study along with us and that would be a great lesson to zoom in on with us because you'll have your book and you can learn and make your own comments so think yeah. about it uh, we also have uh, block who ministries coming up where uh you can be part of the block who ministries and then study weekly and mm -hmm. there is a fee for it but you study weekly for 42 weeks so you're getting some really great lessons straight from the bible from minister love and then we also have the YouTube channel, My Bible Talk Show, that we put our um, videos, lessons that we have completed, and we put them out on the YouTube channel for your review. Also, there's about 290 lessons on there of different topics. And then we also are on Brighton.com with some of the current lessons Minister Love offers. And all these tools are free for you to use. We do accept donations. And on MyBibleRegistration.com, mm -hmm. there is a $20 registration fee to have uh, become a member to register your Bible with us. So there's just really <laughs> minuscule costs. For that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, thank you. God bless you, Sister Sandy. And so audience, be sure to check us out at all three websites. And I just want to add just real quickly, MyBibleRegistration.com website, we're doing these lessons this year. And the topic is, why should I study my Bible? Well, when you go to Source Outreach Ministries website, we're going to be doing, just like Sister Sandy said, we're going to be doing the Jesus to Scarlet. But when you go to the Black Who website, you're going to see that we're doing the lessons on Jesus genealogy. So stay with us all year, right here in 2021, as you go through all three of our websites, you're going to get three different teachings, and you don't want to miss any one of those lessons. We got 42 lessons on each of those websites. All right, then. That's me. I'm in the club with Sister Sandy, and we're going to see you this time next week, and we're going to be on lesson number 32 right here at MyBibleRegistration.com. God bless. Bye-bye.